You all thought I was dead. Well, you're fucking dead drunk. I'm back. Nobody can kill fucking Brewster. Nobody. Blackpool, 2017. I'm coming for certain people. I'll be there. next year, you fucking pervy little fucking bastard. It's a message for a fucking faggot. Yes, I say that. Faggot. What's his name? John Alex, Alex Swanson fucking small for corporate reasons and all that that fucking cunt, yes I said the word cunt, is cutting about World Magic Network and he even fucking brought my own name and my friend Roy on his own fucking page mentioned my fucking name and his name trying to be the fucking big man because I said, just because I said he looked like a fucking pervert because he's fucking wearing the tight fucking clothes and the fucking tight fucking jewellery and that sort of stuff and he's calling people out of fucking money then he's fucking shitty magic tricks and he tried to fucking turn around and say on World Magic Network and his own fucking Facebook page you know what Brewster threatened me I did not fucking threaten that fucking ginger little fucking faggot not once did I fucking threaten him all I said to him was you know what if you want to try and be the big man then come to fucking the Blackpool convention 2016 next year and try and take the piss out of them Let's see if it does it. Okay, I'm in the Ruskin just now. I have just bumped into the legendary Alex William Smoth. Indeed. Hello there. Um, yeah, the trick of the convention, everyone is absolutely raving about this in the dealers hall. And there is good reason. Right. So we have uh, one, two, three, four lovely backgrounds of, um, I don't know what we call it, foliage or greenery. And uh, four of the young lady there so that's uh, just once again so you can see one two three four of them and i'd like you john just to touch the back of one of them today because yep, that, that one, one. okay perfect. absolutely free choice yes it was you could have had that one yep. you could have had that one you could have had that one what i'd like you to do john is put your finger onto that card and think clearly of something as you're staring to my eyes think clearly of something i'm going to try and read your mind and in fact, I'm not picking anything up here, but I may have been able to transmit something to that card of exactly what you've just been thinking about. So if you'd like to turn the card over, everyone can see what you were thinking about. How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> this is a miracle. <laughs> that was absolutely brilliant. That was absolutely brilliant. Um, the next video that we're going to uh, that we're going to show the day is uh, Alex William Smith doing a tribute for Derek Lever, I believe. That was it. Very true. He's Alex William Smoth. Well, hello there. I am, well, amazed to hear the news. 
about our great friend, the legend that is Derek Lever. So I rushed out to the tattoo shop, had a tattoo done, and I've also just purchased one of a limited edition. I'm excited, I've got it here for you. Um, no expense spared, comes complete with the close-up cloth, all the way from Taurus Magic Supply, quality stuff there. And also you get the uh, Derek Lever Undisputed National Treasure Mug. Comes complete with that as well, uh, as sourced from cdrmagic.com. And comes with the obligatory magic wand, because obviously you can't do the trick without the magic wand. And also comes complete with one ball. Another quality Taurus Magic Supply prop. Yes, indeed. We take the ball, we give it two taps, a little flick. The ball completely vanishes. And yes, you guessed it, it appears underneath the cup. As you take that little red ball, just one ball, I believe this was indeed one of Hitler's favourite tricks. Give the ball two taps, the ball disappears and appears, get ready, all together at the same time, because there's no truth in the rumour that Hitler only had one ball. <clears throat> yes indeed, and in fact you know it isn't the ball that was underneath that cup that truly amazes me, oh no. You know what amazes me is, in tribute to Derek, underneath there is a tube of canister extra. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, because I've heard rumours that that too makes irritating people disappear. Well, that was absolutely fantastic. And now, finally, we have a tribute to Derek Lever from Roy Bond. Being around his grandma, that he used to have his play. Okay. You notice, in the moment I'm going to ask you to stare at this. Yes. Well, that's the point. I'm going to get them all to stare at this. Don't so you stare too long because otherwise it could, could, um, could affect you. And that is all it is an electronic. Um, I'm losing the. There we go. Okay. I want you to stare at that. Okay. Take, take a nice deep breath in. <gasps> and now uh, you can see that's all it is, yeah? Spiral in and out in and out and just close your eyes down now. Okay? Just close your eyes down now and just keep your eyes tightly closed at all times unless I say otherwise. You find the deeper you go, the better you feel, and the better you feel, the deeper you go. Stiff iron bar. Shoulders, elbows, wrists. Stiff iron bar. Stop fast tight, lock, loose, weight, cemented in place, like that. Stop fast tight, come on, we try and push it out, watch it. Stop fast tight. I could do all manner of things, but I'm not going to do it because it's going to be fair and it wouldn't mess it up with me. So, I'm going to count three when I touch your arm, it's going to come loose, loose, relax, and drop down. Stuck in the room, I'm going to be so happy. You pull a round of applause for having a wonderful imagination. In fact, just sit down one moment and you'll find that as you sit safely, you can just sleep again, sleep, drifting down, sinking down, drifting down, sinking down. In a few months' time when I waken you, you'll come to the shocking realisation, you'll believe. I often just think that parents can play along. And the more that you tell people this, the more they'll tell you that wasn't true, and the more you'll disbelieve them. One, two, three, back in the room, back in the room, give me a round of applause. <laughs> Alex William Smoth. We were discussing um, how magicians really need to do something a bit more impressive than finding cards. Yeah, 52, well, probably hundreds of different ways of finding one of 52 bits of cardboard last night. Not at all impressive. Find fucking Madeline McCann, that'll impress me. You know, do something worthwhile with your life. Get a girlfriend, get a boyfriend, a sheep, anything is preferable to fucking around with cars all day. Thought for the day. Good luck. Paul, it's like. Is that what, 11 or something like that? And you're on the whiskies already. Good evening, my name is Jack Sharp and today is a very, very special day because I'm joined in the Raskin by none other than the legendary Jonathan Royal. I'm not fucking happy, Jack. And what's this? Well, I've heard Brewster's in the building, that bastard. Is this true? Well, I don't know, but I've been told the bastard's downstairs, so I think we should go and get the twat. I think we should. I think that'd be absolutely fantastic that we actually have Brewster and Jonathan Royal meet on camera for the first time of all time, because that would make a very, very special thing. Oh, I'll knock the bastard out, don't you worry. Come on. So. We're downstairs in the Ruskin. We have Alex William Smoth is going to confront James. Oh, Bruce. excuse me. I prefer the name Johnson Royale. 
Not Alex William Smith. Well, we have Jonathan Smith. Royale is going to confront Bruce now. Yeah. Bastard. On camera for the first time. Are you excited? I wouldn't say excited, but that bastard's been asking for this for a long time. Well, let's see what happens. Come on, where, where the fuck is he? Come on. No, seriously, where is he? You? All this World Magic Network shit? What the fuck's it all about? You, you said, said no, 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 you no, said, no, no, just a minute, you said, you didn't you sorry, sorry, the ball. Sorry, I'm going to have to kneel down to talk to you there, pal. You cannot hypnotise anybody. Try and hypnotise me, because you will not fucking hypnotise me. Sleep! 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 Sleep, you bastard. You will not fall. You will not fall. When you wake up in a few moments' time, it will not bother you, worry or concern you in any way. In fact, you will realise that Jonathan Royal, a.k.a. Alex William Smith, is your best friend. And if Jack Sharp tells you any different, you will not believe it whatsoever. Three, two, one, you're back in the room. You're right, bud. You're right, dude. Yeah, you did. Long time, no yeah. sir. Yeah. 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 yeah, I'm a pilot. Yeah. 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 yeah, cheers, dude. Yeah. 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 Do you want one? Do you want yeah. one more on that? Yes, I've got a couple. Do you want it? Yeah, do you want a pipe on that? Um, yeah, please, please. Thank you. Yeah, well. Well, you heard it here first. Alex William Smoth and James Booster are now the best of friends after a steaming internet rivalry. What are you saying about my friend? This is, you're now best of friends with Alex William Smoth. I don't know. We've always been best friends. Well, you heard it here first. Jonathan Royal here, Alex William Smoth, has a message for Carl Derome. Something like that. Come here, Brewster, man, eh? Look at the camera and just sleep. Relax. When you wake up in a few moments' time, you realise that the world's greatest magician, the person you love more than anyone else, is the wonderful Derek Lever. Derek Lever. If anyone tells you that Dynamo, David Copperfield, Paul Daniels, Wayne Dobson, or anyone else is better, you will not believe it because Derek Lever is by far the best. Three, two, one, you're back in the room. Easily the best magician I've ever seen ever is probably Derek Lever. Derek Lever is probably, apart from a good friend, Inspiration. Here, uh, a great, there's something about that man Derek Lever, he's just such an influence, the best magician ever. I've not got a bad word to say about the guy, he's just, he's amazing, he's amazing. Well you heard it here first. It's also sleep. When you come back into the room you realise Derek Lever is like the devil incarnate. He's ten times worse than Jimmy Savile. Three, two, one, you're back in the room. So what do you think of that Derek Lever? That fucking cunt, Derek fucking Lever. He's fucking hitting the moustache. He's a fucking pedophile. Fucking asshole. Worst fucking magician person ever. Ever. So I've just bumped. Sensing a feeling something's bothering you around right here. Yeah. You are resisting. Yeah. Such a Why? Great shot. Yeah. Yeah. If you come in, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Right. then I go on one minute.
Proof. He brought me a pint downstairs earlier. It's true. You go have on. the video proof. Seriously, go and get this fucking cut off me in the nose. Seriously, I'm going to go off my fucking nut. Three, two, one. Sleep, 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 sleep. sleep. When you wake up, you'll be my best friend again. You think everything's fantastic, wonderful. Everything happened downstairs earlier. It's cancelled out in every way, shape, and form. Thank you for that. Three, two, one. You're back in the room. No, I do. Uh, I don't know where you put your drink. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I don't know where you put it, but... Oh, you want a drink, man? Yeah, yeah, it's good. Uh, Kelsberg, yeah? That's one. Kelsberg, I'll put one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so how far? My name is Jack Sharp and today is a very, very special day because today it's more World Magic Network Awards. Today we have two very, very special awards being given out to two very deserving magicians. And the first award goes to the best terrorist in magic. That goes to none other than Kabeata Ninja. Thank you very much Kabeata Ninja. We have a recorded clip from Kabeata to play for you right now. Here's Kabeata Ninja. Hi World Magic Network. Uh, thank you for giving me the Magician of the Year Award, which I'm going to read, they have written for me. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? It says, Terrorist of the Year Award. Do I look like a bloody terrorist to you? We're not of, even of the same religion. What the fuck is that? I'm going to kill Jack Sharp. I'm going to bomb your headquarters, World Magic Universe headquarters, which I believe is John's mom's basement. I'm gonna kill you all. I'm gonna slaughter Jack Sharp. And you know what? Jet fuel does not melt steel beams. Well, I'm sure you must agree that's the last time that we'll ever see Calbeer to Ninja. However, someone that we can't stand the sight of and we see almost every single day in life probably say every single hour, is the best magical spammer. The king of spam himself, the winner of this prestigious award, I'm sure you all know, I'm sure you're all sick of this cunt, his name is Alex William Smoth. 
Well hello there, it's Jonathan Royal aka Alex William Smith here from www.magicalguru.com and I'd just like to thank everyone at World Magic Network and everyone who voted for me for the serial promoter and marketer of Magic and Mentalism Award. It's fantastic to receive this, so thank you very much on behalf of myself and also of course www.magicalguru.com. Do treat yourself for Christmas and get over to www.magicalguru.com and grab a magical and mentalism bargain. Once again, thanks for the award and Merry Christmas. Well, that's all we've got time for. I hope you've enjoyed this show. Stay tuned. I've been Jack Sharp. Well, hello there. We're in the Ruskin Hotel at Blackpool Magic Convention. 2016 we have an exclusive for the World Magic Network, yes indeed. I'm here with Jack Sharp and we've turned the table slightly because we're going to interview him and apparently no question is unbarred. So Jack, I've heard rumours that uh, you've actually recently admitted to people in the Ruskin that you would make a very bad paedophile. Why yes, is that? Because children are fucking shite. I hate every one of them. I would think that people should, if they, if, they, if they do have children, they should be tied to a chair and beaten with hammers in front of their parents. And there you go, Jack Sharp available for children's parties. Well, after that shocking revelation, what can we say? We're back with more on the World Magic Network. Well, I don't know whether she would ask this, but we're going to do Jack. <laughs> well, we're at the uh, Blackpool Magic Festival 2016. If you only had one sentence to sum up the man who is Derek Lever, what would it be? Absolute fantastic legend. Like I said, this is a man who tries to say he's not a paedophile. Clearly a liar. Make of that what you will. So, uh, yeah, we have another question for Jack. I don't know if he'll want to answer this, but we'll, we'll try. So, uh, Jack, it's like this. A lot of people have been saying that uh, what does it feel like to be almost the biggest cunt in magic when Derek Lever is still a number one on the list? You're number two. What's it feel like to be second best? In, in fairness, it is a great honour to be thought of. It is it, almost as high up the ladder uh, in cuntishness as Derek Lever. I have done my very, very best, you know, to, to, to get to that quiet level. You know, but unfortunately, I may be fall short in that category. I may have to, to go back to denying the Holocaust. I may have to go to raping more people. I may have to, you know, maybe have a, I don't know, be, become a paedophile or something like that to, to, to overtake Derek Lever. But unfortunately, I'm not quite that evil just quite yet, Alex. I, I, I think if you stick at it, you could get there. I will do stick my, it. I'll do my very, very best. Thank you. Best of luck. We have a magician here who uh, uh, lost his, his grandfather at Auschwitz. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yes, he died at Auschwitz. That's My very, very unfortunately. Yeah, but uh, it's you very know, sad for me. Can, can you tell me a bit more about it? Yeah, so he fucking fell off the gun tower. <laughs> so we're at Blackpool Magic Convention and we're going to ask Jack about his feelings on the latest releases. Now, let's put this in perspective. Apparently they've released this one. <laughs> Now, this wallet, you open it up and it sets on fire. Fire wallet. Ooh! Oh, fantastic! Yes, indeed. And then, apparently, also, it's a card to wallet. Ooh, that's absolutely fantastic. That's even doubly fantastic. And apparently, you can also get people to write things on business cards and put them in, and then you can use it as a pink wallet. Fuck me, that's, that's, that's just, this is one of the most legendary products I've ever heard in my life. Oh, it's better than that. What is it? You can make their sign card levitate out of the wallet and float into your hand. This, this must be the greatest product uh, for magic of all time. What? No, 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 rethink this. Hang on. Firstly, a lot of real world venues, you bring out fire, they will set up the fucking fire alarms. Well, so that's not good. Let's uh, find that, out it's, not it's, hor it's horrible. Next, card to wallet. You can buy one a lot cheaper. That's yes. better. Yeah, that, that's very, very right. true. Shit product. Just a minute. Then the card levitates from the wallet into your hand. 
This really looks, this makes the wallet look like, to me, it could be dodgy. Not good. Yeah, I, I, I would agree with that, yeah. So at this point, do you want somebody to write something down, but it into that wallet, or you read their mind and but have to go back into the wallet to get a business card to write something down so you can peek it? No, they screamed bullshit, doesn't it? It, it does. Absolutely shit. What a horrible product. Why would anyone want to release this? Apparently, it's the hit of the convention. White cursed magicians you buy gimmicks, not real world magic. Dickheads. Yeah. All magicians are a bunch of faggots. Indeed. I think that's something being real. I think that's, that's about all we agree on, Alex. Indeed. Thank you. Right, Jack, this question I've always wanted to ask you. What's the difference between a working professional magician and 12 inch pizza? You feed from me a full of 12 inch pizza. This is very, very true. <laughs> <laughs> When you wake up in a few months' time, deeper, the deeper, the deeper you go, the better you feel. When you wake up in a few months' time, you realise that number seven no longer exists. You can't count the off in number seven. It's not there. One, two, three, wake you up around and try. Quick, quick chance to win a free drink. Let's have a look at the old hands here. Both hands. Uh, if, I, if I point at them and count, you count out loud. What have we got? So, red, gold, white, six. Just do it on my hands. Sleep. Relax, dear. When you wake up in a few months time, you'll be your normal self in every way. Everything I've set up will completely cancelled out. You'll feel invigorated, refreshed, better than you did before you entered the building this evening. Lighter and brighter. Three, two, one, get back in the room. Indeed. No magic. Magic and tricks. You decide.